Hello everyone, today we have new video review and this time we're gonna check fresh profi pack from Edward. As usual you can find detailed review article link in the video description below so just click it and you'll be able to read review article in English and Russian. As you can see this is a profi pack in 70 second scale and it copies Spitfire F MK9. Now uh, this is a new tool kit from Edward and as you can see it comes in this nice box of the new type uh, which will be used for all next profi pack releases as it was mentioned before I showed you such box with weekend edition for Wolf 190 here you can see comparison with my hand size we have this beautiful box art on the front side then on the other side we have four marking options which are included into this kit and another side contains just short information about the manufacturer and some other additional info this is a top opening box, so just give me a second to open it. As you can see, it's a bit a tight fit, but here we are. So, why Edward introduced this type of box? So that we have more space here and sprues are not packed really tightly. And I can say that it's a true advantage because otherwise you will have some parts broken or damaged. Let's start from the transparent sprue because it was on the top and then we will continue to grey plastic frames. Transparent sprue is molded in uh, form of this circle or frame. Here we have all necessary parts for the canopy and some other transparent elements on the airplane and of course you will be able to replicate your model with open canopy so that you can use like special parts and open cockpit and display everything inside. Modern quality of course is really good and you don't have to be worried about masking because these are included into this kit so you just apply them on your transparent parts and you are ready to go. Next we have two plastic frames which are dedicated to minor parts and here for example we have different elements for cockpit and external detailing. For example here we even have one piece a uh, few tanks. Also here we have landing gear covers, some cockpit parts. Those parts should be used for the pilot seat. Here you can see one piece base part, let's say, for the pilot seat. Also here you can see covers for the air intakes, two types of the dashboards and some interior walls. walls. So let's say we can zoom into the dashboards. So as you can see one type is plain and can be used with decals or P parts. And another one has pre-molded dials in case you want just to paint them. But of course it's better to use nice PE parts from Edward which are supplied in this kit out of the box so you don't have to buy anything extra. Another, let's say, small plastic sprue carries more cockpit parts, also some external elements. For example here we have landing gear wheels which should be assembled out of two halves. As you can see they have separately molded tires. Also here we have separately molded um, hubs. Here is the one piece propeller which is attached in the middle. And here we have cockpit walls. By the way, cockpit walls have some pre-molded detailing as you can see here. But of course it will be enhanced with P parts here because uh, some handles can be replicated only with really thin PE parts. Next we have white plastic frame. This one is packed together with this uh, thin sprues which carry wing ends and tail wings so just give me a second I will show them to you here they are similar to the same frames which we saw in the previous 70 second scale Spitfires from Edward so here we have ailerons tail wings tail wings again tail wings and wing ed edges which can be added in order to replicate particular version of the famous airplane. Next we have large plastic frames. This one is dedicated to fuselage halves, also to wing parts and cooling panels. Note the top cooling panel should be assembled out of two halves and you will have to be extra careful while assembling. Chin panel is also separate and there are several types. This type and also there are another one with air intake. Let's zoom in to check wing detailing, so as you can see wing has uh, extensive riveting and recess panel lines which should look good after some careful painting and weathering done. 
Of course, be careful while working with this because you can easily lose them under thick layer of paint. Next we have assembly manual. This one is finished in form of this typical Edward brochure, short history note, then there is a parts map and assembly process starts with cockpit and of course we have here the detailed marking options schemes which will help you get the right camouflage on your airplane. On the last page there is stenciling guide. Next we have small plastic bag with masks. Here they are, nothing special, this is a typical Edward product. Then we have small plastic bag with P fret. Here we have unprepainted parts. And as I said before, they will be used for the cockpit. Let's zoom in so that you can see them closer. Here you have belts, seat belts, uh, dashboard, air intake meshes, and some other cockpit elements. So as a result, you will get a really nice and decent cabin. In case you want even better detailing, you can buy separately sold uh, brassine set, which is really good and I would recommend it for any detailed build with this kit. Next we have two decal sheets. Of course both are printed in Edward because this is a profit pack, but you don't have to be worried about quality problems because as you can see they look really nice and all symbols printed with due care. I can zoom in camera. Here you can see this decal for the dashboard for those who hate P parts and other symbols which look really nice. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. As usual you can find detailed review article link in the video description below and also there in the comment section uh, you can write your opinion about this kit and I will be happy to discuss it with you. As good advice if you want to help us just click like button below and subscribe to our youtube channel and it will help us greatly and i will see you in the next video review bye